going on guys? It is Wednesday the 23rd of Feb and I am feeling really good considering my super low calories and it's been day three on like my high cardio and um, I don't know, I think now that it's less than four weeks out, I'm getting so, so excited. Um, my accommodation is sorted, my flights are booked, I've paid for my tan, booked my makeup, and I'm really excited that my makeup will be done by my makeup artist here in Perth that normally does all my um, Perth makeup shows. She also did my makeup um, for my first Arnold's and second Arnold's, I believe. So it just, it's really nice that like I'd be able to like have her do my makeup like as a pro now. It's gonna be so amazing. I also train at the gym that she owns. So I train at Culture Fitness and um, Tracy K and her partner owns that gym and she's the one who does my makeup. So I'm so excited um, that she will be doing my face there. And of course I'll be tanned by Pro Tan. I'm always tanned by Pro Tan at the Arnold's, always. Um, so I've booked that, got that all sorted. Um, so I think that's pretty much all that I need. Um, yeah, got my shoes, everything. So I'm just getting so excited. Um, they're taking really, really good care of us. Um, you know, I think someone will come and pick us up from the airport and we'll go straight to the Novotel. Um, I haven't exactly sorted out what I want to do with food. The only thing about staying at the Novotel is that, um, they don't have a kitchen. So previously when I've always traveled to compete, I always make sure that where I'm staying at would be like a service apartment so that I can get like a microwave stove top and make and cook all my food. Recently, I've been just really only needing a microwave because I actually pre-cook my meals here since I fly interstate. I freeze them in the freezer. Um, that's what I did last year. Then I brought them over there. Um, I still stayed in an apartment, but like pretty much all I needed was really a microwave. Um, the pan I used only for like eggs and stuff in the morning. But I think in the Novotel, they're gonna have like a special athletes menu for us. So might order some things from there. I'm not sure if I will maybe contact a meal prep company to help me out and um, yeah I'll probably cook some of my own food as well and then just heat it up in the microwaves that they will have there so the microwaves are not going to be in our individual rooms but they'll be like a kind of like a main area where everyone can sort of heat up their food so everything should should go smoothly i'm just really excited so on monday i had like a full day of work and um the only way i was going to fit in my cardio was like i had to do a train in the morning do half my cardio and then i had to go back for like a pm cardio session which i really don't like going to the gym in the evening but on Monday, I was just feeling super motivated. So even though I worked the full shift from 9 to 5.30 at the sub store, after that, I was just so fired up, so driven. I was so excited to get to my cardio. So yeah, I did that. Um, unfortunately, my weight hasn't really moved a lot. But surprisingly, today is the first day in my whole prep that... I jumped on the scales and even though like it dropped 100 grams, which is not a lot, and it's still not my lowest, lowest weight, it really didn't bother me this time. It's the first day it didn't bother me. I, I think because, you know, I've been pushing really hard and feeling really good pushing hard. Like, I actually feel my body responding. Like, I feel like I'm getting leaner. I feel like I'm burning body fat. Like, I feel like everything is coming together. When I wake up, I feel tight. And so when I jump on the scales, no matter what it says, um, it, I just didn't care anymore. I'm like, it doesn't really matter. Again, I'm just gonna tell Troy what I weigh, um, and then you know it'll be up to him what he decides that we should do. Um, and if there's a cause for concern, I'll let him do the worrying for me. I mean, that's the main reason why I decided to get a coach. Like I shouldn't be worrying about all these things. So I'm just trying to change my mindset to stop worrying so much about it. I look good. I'm happy. Um, obviously, you wish that I was still leaner, but you know, every day I feel like I'm getting that little bit closer, regardless of what the scales say. I love how my body shape is looking, and best of all, my energy levels are great, and my motivation is at an all time high this morning. Well, last night, even, um, I was hungry and I, um, you know, it was waiting to go to bed and I was so excited to wake up the next day to train legs and smash out cardio. I was just really, really excited to get to the gym the next day and that brings me so much joy. I know a lot of people tend to start hating the gym 
towards the end part um, of their prep but I'm just so fired up and I'm just so excited so yeah I'm feeling really good in positive spirits my period is still not here yet and, and that's weird because normally I'd be really emotional um, just before getting it especially if it's like late then I'd be like super emotional up till the day it comes so I haven't got my period yet and yeah I'm not too fussed about that either it'll come when it comes but yeah, in general everything's been going good in terms of my mindset and everything like the only thing that's not um not moving is my weight but whatever we are not going to care about that anymore i say that now i may change my mind but as of right now don't care about my weight i am still three whole kilos above my old stage weight and i aim to drop at least two it'll happen not sure when but it will happen and i'll be ready and i've gotten to this mindset that like you know i'll do whatever it takes and i will be ready i know troy will push me if he thinks i'm behind so i would just kind of try to take a closer look on things at the moment so i'm really honing in my food sources um cutting out things just like bars and stuff which i'm not too fussed about like i don't really have them too much um but just cutting them out fully um little fun low calorie snacks like um anything that's pre-bought and processed um i just sorry um yeah so anything that's pre-bought and processed i just kind of i'm just cutting back on those and i'm just keeping it to as much whole foods as possible so that's what i'm doing it doesn't bother me too much and um yep cardio is high and i'm again like i said in my previous um, video i'm really pushing each cardio session like i don't know where this energy is coming from but i'm smashing it i smashed it on the stairmaster this morning after doing legs fasted i don't know how i do it but i just i smashed through it and i felt really good now i'm just really exhausted and i have a whole day of work but it's fine you know it is what it is um also we've added in some step count so um i have a goal step each day it's not so much more than what i normally do it's just some days i'm less than that so we just want to keep it consistent so at the moment aiming for 12k um hit it pretty easily yesterday but it sort of made me a bit more motivated to make sure i'm moving around get me motivated to like clean my house to um you know go to work because when i'm pting clients like i'm moving around a lot so that's keeping my neat high so in case any of you didn't know neat is non-exercise activity thermogenesis it's pretty much part of what determines your metabolism. So a lot of people think they have a slow metabolism, but really their NEAT just kind of really drops. And when they're dieting, they talk slower and they slow down their walking, they get lazier, they move less. And that's a lot of the reasons why like your metabolism down regulates and you burn less calories. It's because you're moving less. So I'm so motivated by my new step count goal. Um, so I'm determined to hit those, determined to smash each cardio session and um, keep the quality of my training as high as possible so i've been feeling really good during my sessions lately not all days i like that but i aim to keep it as high as possible i know it'll start dropping um but you know it is what it is so we've already done our training and half my cardio this morning fasted ate my breakfast and after this, I'm off to train a bunch of clients and then I'm rushing straight to my Cairo appointment. So Cairo has been going really well. Um, right after this, I'm gonna insert a clip that I did with Gorilla Cairo, just talking about my experience with them, just so you can have a look and you know see how I've been going. Um, do you know that it was shot quite a few weeks back, so I did say that I was six weeks out, but I'm not, I'm less than four weeks out right now. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I need to update you guys on. Um, busy day ahead, so I'm gonna get started with my day um, and I'm gonna end this video here with the clip of what I did at my Cairo and I will see you in the next one. Hi, my name is Nicole Tan. I'm an IVB Bikini Pro and I'm currently six weeks out from my first pro show, which will be the Arnold Classic in Australia. I've been competing for four years as an amateur and won my pro card last year. So um, this year will be my first year competing as a professional. Since it's my first year as a professional, I really wanted to take everything to another level and make sure that everything was on point. I knew that I was doing everything with regards to my training and nutrition and I wanted to make sure everything else that I can control, including recovery and mobility, um, was all on track. So I decided to add Cairo into my routine and just 
see how um, see how it went from there. Initially, when I first came, I wasn't quite sure. I had a little bit of lower back pain, and I mainly thought that um, you know you had to have some sort of pain or something wrong before coming in. Um, but once I came in, I realised how much more this could help me, and then I knew it was the right decision to kind of include this into my routine. So with bikini posing, we need to do a lot of lower back arching and I've always never had much mobility through my lower back. So that was one of the main things that I came um, to sort of like work on because posing is super, super important. So um, once I came in, we found out that like yeah, the, my lower back was not 100%, so we've been working on that. But I've also found out that I had a little bit of other issues more through like the upper areas of my spine and also found out a lot about how um, my spine health has been affecting like my nervous system. I tend to be quite stressed and anxious at times. Um, we also did a like, stress test, we did, which did show that I am chronically stressed and anxious. So I'm hoping that that will help as well. Um, it also is helping me with uh, muscle activation. So um, during exercise as well as posing, I need to have good activation with my lats. And I've actually found um, in the last few weeks since coming here that I've had much better activation through there. I used to think that I had allergies, which I probably do, but then just before prep, I was having a, like a runny nose and um, yeah, just sneezing a lot and stuff and wasn't quite sure what was causing it. Um, but after getting a few treatments, it sort of went away now. So I guess that's another good little extra. <laughs>